these Air Jordans set. The last time they released, they didn't sell well either. I was able to cop them for under retail due to my swoosh connections. So well, let's get off into this review. It's your boy Read My Soul, and I'm here with a quick unboxing for you. I got this from Nike. These are sitting right now. They're very attainable, they're very available, but they are one of my favorite Air Jordans of all time. So I have to go ahead and pull them out and do a quick review for y'all. Like I said in my last video, I have a family member who works for Nike, and so I'm able to get their swoosh discount, which, man, these were really expensive, man. The last time these released, I don't know what the price was, but they wasn't $210, and they set then, so for Nike to raise the price on these is kind of crazy, but we have like that Air Jordan 5 kind of box with like that, uh, that splatter right there. I got a nine and a half because all Jordans underneath the 10, the 10 model, I usually go for a nine and a half. So like the nines, I can get a nine and a half. The eights, I can get a nine and a half. The sevens, the six, the fives, the fours, the threes, the twos, the ones. For like the, the 11s, the 12s, the 13s, the 14s, the 15s, I usually need a 10. This was a quick cop. Like I said, I was able to obtain, I was able to cop them for under retail. I think about 136 with that swoosh discount. So shout out to my family member for holding me down with that. We have the Air Jordan. Cardinal Sevens. Been a long time i don't remember copying these in 2012 um or 2011 the last time they released but i think i did um but these are one of my favorite air jordan models i will admit that i am a little bummed that they didn't put the gold lace uh, aglets or lace tips on them that usually always gives like I, I just love when they do that that just gives me that extra pop so one of my favorite air jordans ever man it's just a classic clean colorway with that 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 uh crazy outsole that's usually on the tongues on other models but they didn't put it on this model they kind of kept it really clean which man this is just one of those air jordans that are really clean they uh oh man they have like the thick thick pattern right here like the thick cut of leather right there i remember the last time i had a pair of sevens was the Bordeaux sevens and they wasn't the best of quality the last time they released maybe in like 2015 2014 it wasn't the best of quality but this quality is actually really amazing the great tumble leather thick padding on the uh, on the like the hirachi kind of sole right there the gold mustardy pops really really dope man this is a really dope shoe the box is really boring like ah with this release man it kind of saddens me that nike didn't really go all out they kind of just made it really like just really lazy you know i'm gonna show y'all some on feats right now but they didn't really do anything man for the price increase it's kind of crazy to me because they didn't do anything special no special box no special like announcement they just kind of released these things and i don't know why they released them i don't know if you know this was one of those pandemic releases where it was like yo everything's selling let's get the sevens that didn't sell last time and let's try to sell them <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That, that, that's kind of weird for me as, as to as to why they chose to release this for the price that they did with no special un, like no special boxing, no nothing. Um, it's just weird. You know, Jordan Brand does some weird things, and usually, you know, I, I stay clear away from them unless it's something like this to where I have to have it because you know I I, I love the Air Jordan Seven. It's one of my favorite models. Um, I don't know. It's just the, the Cardinal Seven is just. I don't know, it just reminds me of the Bronx. I don't know, I guess I was, I probably was into this girl named, I think it was this girl named Victoria. Not I think. There was this girl named Victoria when I was younger. She always had all of the Jordans. And um, she had these and they just looked really well on her feet. And you know, that's when I just, I guess that's when I started to develop my sneakerheadism. 
was like sixth, seventh grade, um, you know, and it was this girl named Victoria, like I said, she always had all of the Jordans and um, she had these and these are just one of my favorite shoes to kind of like look at and like, you know, check out. I think they released in like 05 maybe, I don't remember the last time they released, but um, before the 2011, I know the last time they released 2011. So, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I guess that's where I developed my little sneakerhead foot fetish kind of thing is with Victoria. She was just a cool little Hispanic girl because, you know, I grew up in the South Bronx and a lot of my family is Puerto Rican and stuff like that. But, um, you know, um, I don't know. She just had that cool swag, bro. And I, I don't know. I just love Jordans, man. And, and in the Bronx, the school I went to, you know, I, I grew up pretty, uh, you know, I didn't grow up having all of the options yo the tongue on this is crazy too this is this is probably the best quality seven i've had um so far but these are really really nice man these are ugh, the nine and a half fits perfect i don't know the black soul just does it for me man when you unlace them and you keep them lazy bruh bruh these are nice but yeah i had you know that uh that 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 little that little friend of mine's that um that wore the Jordans and just would make me love shoes. You know what I mean? I would, I remember it was like, you knew she had them. Like every every Jordan release, you knew that like she was gonna have them. You get what I'm saying? So shout out to her. Um and you know shout out to everybody that loved Jordans and sneakers and stuff like that. These are are really nice. I think the on feet are really gonna make these pop, make these stand out. So you know, give me your comments. Leave your comments. Did you cop them? They're available, so like you can cop them whenever you want. Yeah, man, these are one of my favorite Air Jordans ever, man. Were you able to cop? Jordans are sitting. They're still sitting on Nike.com. You know, so you have the opportunity to go cop them. I'm pretty sure they're on other websites. Like I said, I was able to cop them with my swoosh discount, so I got them for about 130, which I think that's the perfect price for paying for retros. Um, that's just me personally. You know what I mean? To each their own but that's around the price that i want to pay back in the days when i had my youtube channel i was paying uh because i worked for nike i was paying a cheaper price for retro so yeah man how do y'all feel about these leave the leave the leave the comments in the comment section man like i said these are one of my favorite air jordans ever man these are just freaking sick the sevens with the two and then the three embedded in it that gold the pop of gold is just crazy and then of course they got like nike air branding on this pair of shoes which you know is that's not as important to me when it comes to the seven having a nike air branding i really don't care about that but having the little seven in there if you can see it is like the seven in the in the insole um and that's kind of how it has like all of that there the triangles and things like that man these are just a cool smooth pair of shoes let me know how you're feeling about them um you know you know now that you know we don't have as many options as we did because Yeezy is gone what are you copping what was your nice pickups throughout the end of the year what was your favorite pickups throughout the year you know this and these and maybe i think the uh the carbon um the carbon yeezy uh d2s i think those uh those are top, part of my top releases of the year so you know let me know leave your comments in the comment section let me know how you feel so y'all be safe y'all be blessed i'm out of here peace Oh, and make sure you click the subscribe button, you like, you share this with a friend, you ring a notification bell, and you leave a comment when I'm done. All right? Appreciate y'all. Peace.